want to say thank you <coughs> to everyone who has been on this long journey <laughs> with us. And obviously there's some new people that haven't been on the long journey. But um, just that we appreciate everyone hanging on and staying with us the whole time. Yeah, I just want to second that. It's, um, you know, we've endured bushfires, floods, pandemics. Everyone's gone above and beyond and just stuck with it and backed the project and I really appreciate that. And um, this is the home stretch. It's, you know, we've got through all the festivals, which is challenging. But this is, um, this is our controlled environment now. So if we can all just support each other for the next couple of weeks and just make a movie that we're all super proud of in the end. And we're off. The majority of the film was shot at real music festivals and there was a lot of scenes that we weren't able to pick up for certain reasons, whether it was you know too loud or ran out of time. So we had to create a controlled environment. To look around, we're essentially building a fake mini festival here just to get our pickup shots we missed at other festivals. We've got two site sheds side by side here, dressing rooms going up, Port of Luz down that end. We should get a good four festivals out of it, so getting good mileage out of this location. When we staged a festival and we had to get dialogue, there was about 80 extras all dancing to no music. And me and my cast members pretending to shout over the crowd as we delivered our lines. But really, we're just going, yeah, this band is sick! While kind of 80 extras are... And we're all, all kind of fake dancing. <laughs> That'll be you one day. We've got a really good crew on this team and I think that's what's managed to get through so many scenes in a short amount of time. And action! Hugh Miller, our DAP, I'm actually in awe of watching him work almost as an artist creating a painting and once he's happy you know that the shot's beautiful. Do you think we see how it's just suddenly given us that shape on the back of Yeah. Us? The gaffers are a father-son duo in T and Mark. I love watching them work and they're just great guys to be around. Let's go to the music. <laughs> <laughs> Our first AD, Andrew McAnally, is experienced, calm, almost like a mentor. Even if we, we are rolling and I call action, you can say, no, no, hang on, I just want a moment. Aisha Phillips, our production designer and her team have been brilliant. They really understood the brief and Gina, our costume designer, she just seems to nail that authenticity. Our hair and makeup artist, Ali Robertson, she's also just been a pleasure to work with. So all the departments and their team have just been great. It's just gonna really add to this project and something that we'll all be proud of. Thank you, cutting there. Beautiful. Thanks. That wraps our festival work for six festivals. Yay. Massive week, everyone. Thank, Thank you, everyone, for, much for a very, very big week. Probably one of the most difficult scenes to shoot was the portaloo scene. This is one of the scenes that our director Mac had um, as a clear vision in his head from the get-go. Now listen, you stay here, don't let anyone in until I come back, you got it? You fucking got it, hey? The idea was to try and make it feel as real and claustrophobic as possible, but what we did was we built a set in a studio. So we essentially brought in a disabled port de loup and we were able to take off walls as we needed it, depending on what angles we were shooting. Marcy, you in there? We used particular lighting to mimic stage lighting of the festival. We also dressed the port de loup accordingly with a lot of dirt and grime on the floors and made it real grubby. We had to put a do not disturb sign up on our hotel room oh because God. we just, yes. our whole table in looks the room like we looks are like we've been dealing. Board. Would have been kicked out Yeah, 100% kicked out, so, so yeah. do not no disturb sign cleaning. <laughs> I was very scared about that scene. It's a lot of pages on the script to cover in the one little environment. And there was a lot of big performances to come from the actors. Shit, he's staying out. What do we do? I literally have had anxiety with the word like portal for the last like six months. But yeah, we're doing it today. This is my home for the next two days. It was a world that was very foreign to him. I know he had some concerns about it. We'd looked at a lot of videos online. We talked about how someone of that age who'd never taken drugs would react to a drug like that for the first time. My brother doing an overdose scene was like, I was just shocked. I was like, oh my God, how is he doing this right now? 
Mentally, it was pretty challenging. Obviously, I'd never experienced anything like that before. My dad had a bit of a talk with me too um, about past experiences. The combination of our DOP, Hugh Miller's eye for detail and our gaffers outside the box thinking of how to light it, our art department on how they would dress it and everything just came together exactly how I envisioned it. So it was all about the performances and the trio actually just went above and beyond as did Caius. It was a big few days but Mac made it real and it's a roller coaster of emotions. It's one of the more disturbing but rewarding moments of the film. Oh. <laughs> Just another day. That's brothers, hey? It seems an age since I've seen ya. Countdown as the weeks trickle in today. We ended up shooting the opening at the very end of production and it was the last scene we ever shot. Six Fest was done. It's actually very sad as well. Four years in the making, now it's done. <laughs> Craziness. Going home, people. <laughs> done. Fantastico. There you go, one well-worn, well-thumbed script. $800,000 on eBay. It was such an emotional, euphoric feeling to finally have everything in the can. I'm done. <laughs> we had a couple of beers and tinnies that we cracked open and it was a moment I'll never forget. Weeks of pain, but everyone <laughs> just put in the work and um, it was such a good bunch of people, good bunch of humans that actually got us through to the end. One more day, we probably would, someone would have died, but hey, <laughs> appreciate it. And uh, that's um, my first film under my belt and it's, it couldn't be none without you guys. Thank you very much. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Gentlemen, gentlemen.